Hello everyone, my name is Marcin Rospensky. I'm a tennis director here at the beautiful Lakes Country Club. Um, let me um, introduce you to a few of our members over here. Dave Click and Lee Combs are going to uh, show us and demonstrate how not to hit a tennis ball and how, yes, certainly how to hit a tennis ball. So um, I have a uh, first tip. We're going to talk about backhand slice. Uh, the first thing you want to do as far as backhand slice is correct grip. We got a continental grip. We're going to take the racket back on the shoulder height or a little bit higher. Make sure that the racket face is open. Follow through, hit that ball over here and follow through all the way across. Okay, so again, open racket face, point of the contact and follow through. There's Dave Click and he's got a beautiful backhand slice. So I'm going to use him a little bit today, okay? Here we go. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, there's Dave Click hitting that beautiful backhand slice. Look how he takes the racket back nice and high. There's a point of the contact, he cuts that ball, and there's a beautiful follow through. Dave, if you don't mind, when I say freeze, you're gonna stop with the take back, okay? And freeze. So look at that racket face, it's nice and high, face open. All right, here we go, keep going, few more. And when, why, when I say freeze, you're going to f stop at the, point, at the point of the contact and freeze. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful follow through. Let's do it a few more, please. I'll give you a low one, tough one. And down the line, how about a backhand slice down the line? Yeah, he's got it all, tough one. Great, thank you so much, Dave. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to give you a tip about how to receive a high loopy ball. Um, I know that uh, here in this country club, we do, ha we do hit a lot of moon loopy balls and they have no pace, they're high, they're deep, very difficult to get it back. Uh, very important thing is to move our feet to that ball. We got to get in position. Second thing is we're going to time that ball. We're not going to be hitting from way above my shoulder. I'm going to try to let this ball drop and hit it nice and low around my waist or maybe around my shoulder level, but nothing above over here. Okay, so moving my feet, be patient and time that ball correctly. We got Lee Combs over there and I'm going to feed her a few of those balls and she's gonna show us how to hit that, that nasty loopy ball. Here we go, Lee. It's difficult, it's high, she takes, the, she takes the racket back, nice, moves her feet. That's right, waits for that ball in the correct time, beautiful. And another one, ugly stuff, but she turns it, it's okay, next time you're gonna follow through, here we go. You got it, great, great, beautiful. Okay, so Lee is going to also demonstrate how not to hit that ball. She's got an ability to do both. Good one and both and, ba and bad one. So, Lee, why don't we try the bad one, okay? Here we go. Yeah, she was impatient. She didn't wait at all for that ball, yeah. Didn't move her feet, her body is up in the air. It's ugly stuff, I'm sorry, Lee. That was pretty good, actually. Here we go. Good, thank you. Make sure that you wait for that ball and hit it from low to high. Be patient with that shot. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about, um, it's, a, it's a difficult shot, it's a difficult play in tennis because it's all about anticipation. This tip will help you with when to close in to the net. A lot of um, our players here at the lakes close in the net way too soon. It's not about where to go closer to the net it's about the timing of closing in so basically when you come into the net and you do the split step you see that your opponent is in trouble don't make a move yet even though she or he is in trouble that doesn't mean they're going to hit a weak shot i would like for you to be anticipating a weak shot so therefore right after you split step you're going to be anticipating, don't make a move yet. Once the ball is hit, once the ball leaves the racket, then you can make your decision, then you can make your move. Either if it's a poor lob, then you take a step back 
from around the service line and have an easy put away overhead. Once you, once you see that a ball is very short and very easy to put it away, then again from the service line you make your way forward, you make your move forward and put things away. Don't go too soon. When you see them in trouble, you assume that they're going to hit a bad shot. Hang over there, anticipate, then make your move. We got Lee Combs over here that she's going to show us um, a, few, a few times how to do it properly. Okay, here we go, Lee. Okay, so lay there. Now you make your move. Great job, great job, great job. Let's do it one more time, Lee. I like the way you were waiting for that ball. Anticipate me being in trouble. Again, good approach. You're waiting, you're waiting. There's that easy ball. Get in. Great. Great. So now, Lee, I would like for you to demonstrate how not to do it. I've seen you do it uh, that way too. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Okay, here we go. There's that short ball. And she's keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. That's right. And now she's in trouble. Yeah, Lee's quick enough to get out of trouble so quickly, but she was in trouble. Let's do it one more time. No, that's okay. That was great. Here it is. Short ball coming again. And she's keep closing in, keep closing in. And now she's in trouble. Yes, because she went close too soon. She needs to hang around or, or on the service line. Thank you so much, Lee.